Hey, it's Kristen, and I am back with another tutorial on how to decorate inside your text, but this time we're going to be using pattern brushes. Last time I did a tutorial on doing this look with um, digital papers and a clipping mask, but now we're going to use some pattern brushes. So let's get right into it. And again, I'm gonna open a new canvas and go to screen size. Um, once again, this is something that you can draw by hand, but for this sake of the tutorial, I'm going to use the text feature. So I'm going to add a text by going to the wrench, add and add text. And we are going to choose a text by going to the double A's and scrolling to find a text that you like. I'm going to use this one called Buddy Eddie. Um, it's one that I made and I will leave the link for you to that, but you can do this with any text. So um, let me just increase the size of this text, make it nice and big. And um, let me also go to the keyboard and let's just do like, hello. And there we go. And let's move this down to the middle. Now the text, um, when you do the text, it's gonna be whatever color you had selected up here. So mine just happened to be like this light green. Um, now what we want to do is recolor this text. So um, you can leave it all one color or the trendy style that's going on right now is to have each one a different color and then a different pattern inside each one. Um, but if you want to recolor this, um, First, before we recolor it, we want to create the outline for it. So to do that, we're going to duplicate it. So slide it to the left and choose duplicate. And let's go to black this time. And um, whoops, before I get out of there, I want to tap back on there and go to edit text and go to our double A's. And this time we're going to go with um, the outline feature. So if you tap on that, Procreate automatically will make that text into an outline for you. So now that's outline. So now we have the top one with the outline and the bottom one is the color. So on the color one, we want to tap it and choose rasterize. Okay. And now that has taken that out of text form and made that into um, a rastered image. So now we can apply a um, alpha lock to this. So if you tap it and choose alpha lock, now we can go in and play with the colors. So um, let's say, let me just choose a brush, regular brush, I'm just choosing an airbrush, a hard airbrush. Now when I color over that, it's going to just color on that layer there and nothing in the background and it's not gonna color over the outline either. So I can just go in and color some different colors there. And now um, we want to add some patterns to this. So let's add a new layer. And um, there's several ways you can do this. Um, one way is to just uh, choose your color. So if we have this green, if you open your color palette, so I'm going to classic down here, or you can use the color wheel, and you can just choose maybe like a slightly darker color or a lighter color um, for your pattern. That's one way to do it. So let me just play with that real quick. And I'm going to choose some pattern brushes here that I have. I'm just coloring over that. Um, let me select the orange and maybe go like a little bit lighter and make that a little bit smaller. Go with the yellow and don't worry that it's going over there. We're going to make that into a clipping mask in a second. Whoops, forgot to change my brush. 
Let's do that one. Now let's select pink and I'm just tapping and holding to pull up the color picker. Make that a little bit darker. Tap and hold that one. Make that a little bit darker or lighter, whatever you like. And let's go with these sprinkles here. Okay, now we have our layer above that. So we wanna make this into a clipping mask so that all of this will go away on the outside. So let's tap it and choose clipping mask. And there we're left with just our pattern letters. Now um, with this style, if we go um, to our top layer, which is the outline layer, and add a new layer, and choose black, and if I just choose like um, a clean brush, you can go in and add little um, extra doodles to this. So one is like a, a swirly that some people add, one might be a zigzag that you add, and you're adding these just on the edges on the outline that's overlapping. Um, some just add lines, and some do dots. You can do all of these, a mixture of them if you like. Um, some just add like an extra line, like so. You can do something like that, or um, that's really sloppy. I don't have my streamline turned up on this pen, but um, you could do like a line of dots like that. Um, so there are several ways that you could play around with this. Um, another one is to uh, just cut, let me get rid of get rid of this one that I did in my outline is to actually just kind of messily outline it again and that's how I made my outline text and then you can go in and even add more stuff you know to that so that is how you go about creating that look so this one is fairly simple and I will also leave the link to uh, the text I'm sorry the font that I used for this as well as um, pattern brushes for you to use. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.